Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing very well. Got a very interesting story, and this is from Goldman Sachs calling out four cities that are about to have a housing correction similar or at the same size and pace of the crash of 2008. I can't wait to get into the story with you. And again, trying to reaffirm what you are seeing right now, and that is, it is stalling, it is stalling, and now it is falling. But we're talking about the housing market. We're talking about confidence in the housing market. As these things keep coming out, these news stories about what analysts are now calling, what I've been telling you about for literally over a year and a half now, we are going to be experience a housing crash and you are going to make lots and lots of money if you're patient and you strike at the right time. So here we go. This is out of uh, San Diego. It's entitled, Your San Diego Home is Worth $100,000 Less from CoreLogic. It says a Goldman Sachs report found that four American cities, including San Diego, could see home prices decline so fast that we would see a similar housing market crash to 2008. But I want to rest assured the housing crash is not going to be limited to four cities, and it is also not going to be limited to one or two states. It is going to be nationwide, and that is what gets me excited, and it should get you excited because you are going to get to level up in this next real estate cycle. It says a report from the investment bank Goldman Sachs found that San Diego, San Jose, Austin, Texas, and Phoenix we're all likely to see sharp declines in home prices over the next year. That could lead to a housing market crash similar to what the United States experienced in 2008. In San Diego, home prices fell almost $100,000 in the past year, according to CoreLogic, a California-based financial services company. This is really still because we still have so little inventory. It is technically a seller's market, but I think we're still heading toward a more neutral market, which is great. But what comes with buyers being more selective on what they, they're spending their money on because interest rates are higher? Now think about this for a second. You are now finally seeing the big boys come out and saying, okay, it's safe to let you know housing market's gonna crash, but it's only gonna be these select cities. Well, let me explain something very simply. It's very easy to say that the sharpest moving, the highest, you know, the, the fastest appreciating home markets are gonna be the ones that take the big spills. What they're not telling you, and they're going to eventually tell you, probably about six months to a year down the road, is that all housing markets are about to implode between high interest rates and high home prices, but now on top of that, massive inflation. Inflation that we have not seen since the late 70s, early 80s, is going to drastically affect this market, and it will be worse than 2008. You heard the economic ninja or the real estate ninja tell you, this is what they're not telling you. They want to see you continue to buy. So they are trying to encourage buying, looking at every little bright light, because when you buy a home, they make money, all right? But they also don't wanna be known as being wrong. So they throw out a little bird for you, or I don't even have the right term, but like they just throw out something right there and go, oh yeah, these markets are gonna crash. Well, good you going, Goldman Sachs. I'm glad you went and got your MBA for that because that's super easy to tell. Now, why don't you just tell them all the truth? And the facts are, they want to be able to buy up and scoop up these homes for pennies on the dollar. That is what I want you to do. But you have to be prepared for it. Now, check this out. Going on a little bit more in the story. Home prices declining is not a surprise to many economists since the Federal Reserve increased interest rates during the past year to combat inflation. Some say slowing the slowing housing market could be an indicator that a recession is on the horizon. Let me know in the comment section if you believe that a, a recession is on the horizon or if you believe that we are already in a recession and the government just decided to try and trick you by changing the definition. It says right here, quote, my prediction for 2023 is that we would have a 70% chance of a recession, said Alan Jin, an economist from the University of San Diego. Man, Alan, you probably should, uh, you should probably get laid off. It's not certain, but it's a strong possibility. And if we do have a recession, it would likely be caused by the Federal Reserve raising interest rates and it impacting the housing market. You can't make this stuff up. These are the people that went to school for this kind of stuff. I didn't. I just became an investor and started to figure out real estate cycles, currency cycles, and stock cycles, line them up with war cycles, and all of a sudden you sort of figure this out, that this happens and it's very predictable. And so we want to start trading and using our money wisely in these cycles. Now it says right here, with home prices declining, there are fewer listings on the market and fewer sales. According to Redfin, sales in San Diego County were down almost 50% in December compared with the year before. 
A decrease in sales also translated into homes being on the market longer, according to Redfin. The median number of homes, days on home, a home, ah, sorry guys, the median number of days a home was on the market in December was 33, which is 21 days longer than a year prior. Days on market is a great tool to be able to see that expansion as it gets longer, to see how dire it's getting in the market. But I want to also give you some reassurance. See what that really fancy economist that went to school and got an MBA to tell you what's gonna happen in the future, but he's gonna be wrong, isn't telling you, is that right now, literally tens of thousands of people every day are being laid off. And what that's going to do is that's gonna create a bunch, a massive amount of selling. People are gonna panic. And we're talking about white collar employees too. Some people getting laid off from Google making a million dollars a year. If they can't replace that uh, income, what are they gonna do? More than likely, they're gonna tap into the one, the biggest uh, form of their finances, for most Americans, is the equity in their home. And they're either going to try and refinance it, which is unlikely at higher rates, or they're going to sell that house, which is going to add, I mean, it's gonna add inventory. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's like almost you go, am I crazy? Like, nobody else sees this. Guys, this is an exciting time to be alive. Prepare your finances. We are going to crush it in this next cycle. All right, guys, that being said, Real Estate Ninja is out.